We arrived with our van on a beach in Mexico last week and guess what, we're still here. For us Brits, van life in Baja, California is a world away from anything we've known before and this time we aren't experiencing it alone. What's that coming over the hill? It's tread the globe. It's tread the globe. <laughs> Excited? Oh, I've been so excited to see you. It's been you just guys. over a year. Hi, hi. Hello! <laughs> <laughs> Crying already on the way here. Hello. Hi. Oh, great to see you. I can't believe it's been so long. I know. <laughs> yeah. 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 A bit better than when we last saw you, didn't you, mate? So last week we said we had some friends joining us and most of you guessed correctly. I'm sure Chris and Marianne from Tread the Globe need no introduction. We road trip with these guys in Turkey last year. They're driving their van around the circumference of the world. They're some of our closest, bestest friends and there was no way we were going to be on the same side of the world and not meet up. It almost didn't happen a couple of times. Yeah. yeah. But the stars aligned. They aligned. So here we are. And if you remember last time we ended up having scouts. Oh, yes. Yes. When we met them, so we'll, we're going to we'll, keep a close eye. That's our eye. fault. Very close eye <laughs> on this time. Yeah. 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 We'll try not to get you another <laughs> yeah. dog. No <laughs> more dogs, please. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're so pleased to be with oh. you. We absolutely love these guys and we completely understand why you follow them because they are epic adventurers. Awesome people. <laughs> I'll pay you later. You You're can. welcome. Yeah. <laughs> this must be love. So the guys come round selling some blankets and I've had my eye on these ever since we arrived here. Chris and my aunt actually got some money out for me because we didn't have enough. So now I've got no excuse. Well, do you want to think about it for tomorrow? What's your best price? What have you got then? So this was one. Do you need, is it one each or something? No, two for me. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. And this oh, one, wow. how beautiful is that? Uh, no, you don't get to appreciate the rugs, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember me from Halfetti? He definitely remembers you. I think you do. It was while we were travelling with Chris and Marianne that we found Scout and they are such a huge part of his rescue story. And this is going to be the first time that he's seen them since we're in Halfetti and he absolutely 100% recognised them. He does. He's been cuddling with Marianne. He doesn't do that with everybody. Why do I always get the butt? Get the bit. You get the bit. I get the face of love. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you just wet my ear. Oh, he's a good boy. That smile. Good boy. There's a proper smile. <laughs> we're so happy to be reunited with these guys. We were just saying that when we met. We're so happy that you're here too. <laughs> when we left each other in Helfeti in Turkey. We've been chatting about our plans for the, like the following year and we said, who knows, maybe we'll see you next, like next time we'll see you, we'll be on a beach in Mexico somewhere. And where are we? On a beach in Mexico. Who would have thought? Made, made, it, made it happen. Meet you in Mexico. <laughs> Who'd have thought watching seagulls would be so interesting? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All of us are it's like, coming, it's coming. watch. He's got one, he's got one. He's oh. Got one. Oh my god! So these seagulls yes. keep getting clams from the shallows and they're bringing them to this little back corner of the beach and to break them open they're like flying really high and then dropping them and it's but really it cool to so see. It's so hard to film. We've been <laughs> there for half an hour trying to get the shot for you. Yeah. Hats off to wildlife photographers because yes. we, we know this seagull's daily routine now. So I am sat in the legendary Trudy. I'm actually sat in in the in, in the in the, ca in the, ca in the captain seat. Again. All right. Chris is making his Guac famous guacamole. Guac guacamole. I've got a really weird obsession with guacamole. I showed them the Dr. Jean guacamole dance. If no one has seen that, you're Don't missing out. <laughs> you're missing out. It will change how you say avocado and guacamole forever. What? Guacamole, guacamole. Gua, gua, I think there's a storm coming. Actually, it looks like it might rain, doesn't it? 
Well, it's taking a bit of a turn for the worst, isn't it? Definitely looks like it's gonna rain. Looks like it's gonna absolutely piss down. Yeah, leave, oh, leave. Give me a hand. <laughs> Granny's We need a step. Oh. 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 Thank you. Hello. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's a lunatic dog. With the dark clouds rolling overhead, we took shelter in Sophia and had a good old fashioned British evening of beers and a quiz night. Yes, yeah. I understand what an emoji is now. <laughs> <laughs> Crown, the crown. The crown. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Crown. I'm so competitive. Can I like do that? No. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, night, guys. Night, guys. See you blowing early. Oh. See you tomorrow. See you later. All man watch and dog watch. We are up bright and early this morning. The guy that sold us the blankets yesterday, his son runs little boat tours out onto these islands. It's a bit windy this morning. Ben is staying to look after the dogs and we are going out for the day. Not only is this bay incredibly beautiful, rocky mountains all around you, we just had some dolphins jumping alongside the boat. <laughs> so we've come to an island called Isla de los Perros, Island of the Dogs, and it looks like we're about to go to a little secret beach. Breakfast this morning is fresh clams. Jose has just bought out of a bucket these enormous Did you catch? clams. Did you? Uh -huh. He caught them? <laughs> and they're yeah called it's queen a, clams. Oh okay. Uh -huh. Oh hello. Hi. Hi. The Jose is shucking the clams now. Over here we've got a ceviche. I've never had raw clams before. I've had oysters. A bit of sauce. A little bit of sauce. See? Okay. Oh, a little mix of sauce. Two different types. Mm -hmm. That sounded crunchy. <laughs> <laughs> Tastes like a scallop almost. Yeah. So put a bit of this on. That's a lot. To There's a lot. Ooh. Just you just all in one go. I did. You've got a big mouth, though, Chris. Mmm. <laughs> is that good? <laughs> that is so good. It's know. not slimy like an oyster. It's much firmer like a firm scallop and then with the lime and the salsa it just makes it pop that is so good Cheers. muy bonito that's one of my new favorite things it's trying to eat it without getting it everywhere <laughs> <laughs> oh Jessica, you got hot sauce running down your chin <laughs> it's a lot to eat though. i think you need two hands i was just saying i could go to a restaurant and eat a whole plate of them. I have to keep asking if I can have one more. That's so good. I'll catch you. <laughs> that is definitely one of the best breakfasts I've ever had. So this is the Isle of Dogs. The reason it's called the Isle of Dogs is because it's got dog graves on here. Apparently when some Americans' dogs die while they're here, they bring them out here to be buried. A little dark. But interesting why they picked this place. I said, why, why this island? And he's like, no idea, <laughs> no idea. I wonder if it's so that they, they won't get dug up by any wild animals. And obviously you're, they're a long way from home here, so you wouldn't want to take it back with you. Oh my God, there's little dog graves. Chris! Yeah, look at this one down here. It's actually really lovely. They've got somewhere like beautiful to rest. Had a good morning, Chris. Amazing. <laughs> I, I was saying that these are the moments that you won't forget. Yeah. And we'll be talking about this for years to come. Exactly. Travel friends. <laughs> it's our travel friends. family. Travel family, <laughs> not friends. Family. <laughs> 
So here we are, heading back. We are parked just in this little corner of the beach over here. Muchas gracias. Hey. That was a beautiful, beautiful morning. So it's so nice that Chris and Mariana here because I picked my chair up. Because if it was just the two of us, we wouldn't be able to do or go out on that boat trip because we've got the dogs, because we can't leave them in the van, because it is too hot. So it's nice that Chris and Mariana are here so Chess can go, I can stay with the dogs, and they can have a great time. And it looks like they had an absolute amazing time. I'm not a massive fan of shellfish, so it's not really my thing, but Chess loves it. Well, I've literally forgot like how many days we've been here now. You literally lose any concept of time. I couldn't tell you actually what day it is, or the date, I think we've been here for about a week. And that is the beauty of Baja. But even now I don't eat that anymore. Oh really? So these guys have driven us to the Syrian border. They've almost fallen off the mountainsides in Georgia. But they've never been on a paddleboard before. <laughs> no, we haven't. What surprises me is I was expecting it to feel a bit like an inflatable lilo. <laughs> It's really solid. Yeah, it's yeah. inflatable. Yeah, yeah. It's really yeah, good, yeah, yeah. isn't it? It's really, it is really good, yeah. No, just stay there, Christopher. I'm just relaxing. Just stay there. There you go. If we try and go around this way, this way? to the left, because we're already drifting. <laughs> oh, you're going too far. Where are you going? The beach themselves around there. Conveniently, it's right near the petroglyphs, which is what we wanted to show them anyway. So I guess we're killing two birds with one stone on this little paddle boarding trip. These are the castaways. We're going mountaineering now as well. If you saw our videos last year in Turkey, we were down in Manavgat with these guys at the opening of the Turtle Conservation Centre, which these two made happen. Oh. See, I had to show them the turtle pack. Absolutely. Yeah, we'll send it's that here. to Sahar. It's her yeah. for you guys. Yeah. That is fantastic. Literally right there. Oh, they're massive. <laughs> Are they? Yeah, look, there on the back of that oh, rock. Oh, wow. There's a big thing there. We're going to paddle it back. It's going out already. I don't feel like I'm getting anywhere. You go. <laughs> Yeah, so it is paradise, but there is a toilet dump station there, and it don't want to be. You don't want to be downwind, do it, do you? <sighs> this is yeah, Instagram. Yeah, just in case reality. Anyone, it just in case anyone was feeling jealous. It's not all paradise. <laughs> no, there is a shit tank right there. Raining. Thank you. Got it. Look at that. Seven for seven. Don't. No, right. Can you get that off? Can you get that off with some tissue, please? Can you not just leave it on there? I'm leaving them there so that it frightens off other flies. You know when they used to leave like heads on spikes on walls and things to warn off people. So I'm doing with these flies. It's Look at that. What's really good with this wood burner is that it protects itself from the wind and it's perfect for barbecuing on windy days like this. <laughs> and it was the best meal I've ever had. Linda's down, Linda's down. There's I'm hot, down. hot embers everywhere. Oh, embers everywhere. Right, Be careful right. where you stand. Is that it protects itself from the wind and it's perfect for barbecuing on windy days like this. I want to walk backwards. <laughs> so this was the casualty of the wind last night. Can you see here? It's like broken the screen and it's like, does this now? Oh no. I can kind of wedge it back in there. What a pain that is, hey? 
Can't believe we've been here for a week, but it is time to move on. Otherwise we'll end up staying here for indefinitely. Yeah. <laughs> this has been one of the most incredible park ups we've ever had. It feels like it's, this is everything that we expected Baja to be and more, it's incredible. We are leaving with heavy hearts and slightly crispy legs, that's for sure. Oh my God. I know, it's giving me anxiety just looking at that. <laughs> that's giving me anxiety looking that's at that. Crap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're back on the road, but it's not over yet. We're going to go meet some friends of Chris and Marianne for some Baja birthday celebrations. Okay, so we're here with Nate and Kim. These guys are also driving down to Argentina from Alaska. They're quite far ahead of us though, so we're going to be following in their footsteps as we head south. But it's Nate's birthday today, that's why we're all here on the beach, enjoying the sunshine. Nate is going to teach us how to fish. Awesome. And he's cooking. If you've seen these guys on no, YouTube, you'll know how good Nate's go cooking is. We have everything. I said we're not going to be up with these guys unless Ke unless Nate is cooking. Like oh yeah, oh. he is cooking. <laughs> you just call me uh, oh, Fisherman Ben. Last time I went fishing with uh, Nate, he caught a very small salmon. <laughs> <laughs> he's just jealous because I caught a really big one. His was really small. It was big. Yours was big. Size doesn't matter, Boris. Uh, <laughs> that's what they say, but we know that's not yeah. true. <laughs> It's, been, it's actually been one of our goals this year to learn to fish. Out of nowhere appears uh, someone yeah, with fishing exactly. gear. <laughs> Many times I've been into Walmart and looked at all the fishing gear thinking, what the hell Which am I doing? Yeah, what exactly. Know what you're doing? Um, yep. oh, the, when you catch Captain that bird's fish eye. at the end of the... Oh I've got a water crossing God, first. How cold is that? Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's quite deep. So this is where we're parked. We walked along the sandbank here and then come up through the mangroves. And now we're going up and over the rocks. Is everyone okay? So far, yeah. <laughs> First thoughts on fishing? I'm actually really enjoying it. I won't lie, it's actually, yeah, come relaxing, take my time. I would need to practice on how to tie and knot things, but I know how to do the, the bait bit now. I, I think I could get behind this. So we got ourselves a nice perch. A perch? Yeah, it's gonna taste good on the barbecue tonight. Happy birthday, Nick! Trying to stop the wind! Happy <laughs> birthday <laughs> to you! Blow quick before Blow they quick. go out! <laughs> Woo! Happy birthday, mate! Oh, thank you, guys! Cheers! Cheers. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday! Thank you, thank you, guys! Not a bad spot for a birthday, it eh? Is. Not bad company either, I have to say. I'm going to pull those a little bit. <laughs> God, I'll make myself dizzy. This is the reason people come to Baja in Mexico. Life on the road is unpredictable, but here, detached from the madness of the world, the small pleasures in life take on new meaning. And sharing these fleeting moments of joy with friends, old and new, knowing they won't last and that your paths will soon lead in different directions, only makes you cherish them more.